Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from the world of Apple with a review of the application that won Ars Technica's Best Mac OS X Application for Education Award, Papers, by Macintosh. Since I am a student, I decided to test this application in the environment that it was designed to be used, at school. I recently finished compiling research for an English presentation on London in the 1500s, and I used papers as a central place to store the research that I collected. I'll start with an overview of the user interface of papers. The application window itself may seem overwhelming at first, but after you get over the learning curve, it becomes apparent that Papers is very similar to a native Apple-designed application. On the left of the screen, there is a Sources pane that controls the information that is displayed. If you are in a folder or part of the library, Papers will display a File Browser, Preview pane, and Tabs. There are many field options and ways to sort which files are displayed and how they are displayed, as well as a Spotlight Search function. Below the preview pane, you can use the buttons to read the document in full screen, open the PDF in a new tab, email it, and print it. You can also switch view modes, control the zoom of the open document, and switch between the next and previous files. Finally, on the right of the screen is the inspector where you can see the file in question's information like title, date last read, whether it's printed or not, and other information that will be useful when writing a bibliography. You can edit this information and also click the Notes tab to reveal a small text area where you can write additional information specific to this paper. Along the Sources pane, you have your main library, last import, a really cool view of each author and the other articles on the internet that they've written, different journals, and trash. Underneath that, are various internet repositories, collections, which are user-defined folders for the articles you import, and smart folders, which are automatically organized folders with files based on your criteria. The preferences for this application are really great. They allow you to control many aspects of the application, like how authors' names are displayed, plugins, and options about the library. The one thing that I would like to see added to the preferences is the ability to rearrange the order of items in the Sources pane and the ability to remove repositories. One of my favorite features of the program is the fact that you can export to it from any other application via the Print menu. This is really useful for someone like me, who does online research at home and then brings their laptop to somewhere with no Wi-Fi. Another cool feature of Papers is the Matching feature. Documents without important information like a title or author, make writing a bibliography extremely difficult. If you have PDFs that lack some information in papers, you can use the matching feature to search for your document all over the internet and then retrieve the data from other sources. At this time, I'd like to go over the pros and cons that I found with this application. To start with, I was very pleased to see how advanced and how many features papers had. I like the collections, smart folders, all the ways to sort information, and the very handy inspector pane. Also, the importing from PDF feature was well implemented, and the numerous plugins were great. However, I think that this app could be made better if it supported other file types like JPEG, GIF, TXT, and RTF. All in all, I was really impressed with this application. It made collecting research and assembling my project on London in the 1500s much simpler than any other application or service that I have tried. I highly recommend this application to any student who finds themselves doing lots of research with their Mac and wants a central location to store it all. Thanks for watching another video by the World of Apple. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.